All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the 10 strange things happening in the world right now. I haven't clicked on the video yet. I don't know what the like to dislike ratio is. If it's not good, then the title is misleading as fuck. If it's good, then they know what they're on about. Let's, let's find out. Oh, I like that. 2.5K likes, 95 dislikes. 10 strange things happening in the world right now. You will not believe these 10 strange and mysterious things happening in the world. From nature's weirdest phenomenon to things being seen in the sky, there are explanations that we yet, we've yet to discover. For thousands of years, we've blamed ghosts, something, and other anomalies for mysterious things we've encountered. Luckily, we've had science to step in and give us some answers, but science can only go so far. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is oh. Check out Major Key Physiques for the best in sports apparel and workout accessories. They have free shipping worldwide for all orders over $150. Use discount code JACOB10 for an extra 10% off. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you there. I'm excited. Humans have made amazing strides when it comes to science and knowing how the world works. But do we know everything? Of course not. What makes life truly interesting is that we haven't figured out everything yet. There are still puzzles to solve and mysteries to unfold when it comes to our Earth. From weird issues with nature to mysterious happenings all over the world, we're unsure of whether we should be intrigued or unsettled. Stick around until the end to find out what Earth-centric mystery has us looking to the sky for answers. Okay. Before we begin, take a moment to subscribe to The Richest by clicking on that red subscribe button. While you're in the click happy mood, go ahead and give this video a like. Now, here are 10 mysterious things happening in the world right now. If you didn't ask me to do that, maybe I would've. One could call it a discovery, others might call this a mystery. As humans who have studied and researched science and have learned so much about how our world works, finding something that breaks the rules is a rather mysterious adventure. In February 2019, it was announced that scientists recently discovered a new type of magnet. This type of magnet shouldn't be able to exist, and yet, it does. Researchers have already decided what the new magnet could be useful for and it is shown to be useful for data storage. This magnet is made from a uranium compound that seems to follow its own rules. Normal magnets work in a way where constituents are attracted to each other. This new magnet is singlet-based, where the fields pop in and out of existence, creating an unstable force. Usually, singlet magnets have fields that are locked down by a particle, and therefore shouldn't be able to magnetize. But now it seems that they can. What does the discovery of this new magnet mean? Does it mean that it's always been there and we just haven't noticed? Or does it mean that the world around us is changing? We're gonna move on with probably one of the most concerning mysteries around at the moment. It seems that animals are losing their lives in masses and scientists aren't sure why it's happening. One lost animal isn't enough to set off alarms, but when hundreds of animals start turning up lifeless, scientists and the general the community have started showing concern. In August 2018, an abnormal amount of seals started washing up on shore in the northern part of New England. It's normal to see some animal bodies wash up, but nothing to this level. Most of the 400 lifeless seals ended up on the beaches in Maine over a three-week period. One of the seals tested positive for the bird flu, which is one of the most dangerous illnesses to hit the world. In 2017, thousands of Manhattan fish washed up with no sign of a cause of passing. In February 2017, over 300 whales beached themselves on the coast of New Zealand. Another 100 whales were left stranded on the beach as well because no one could get them back New into Zealand. the water. To continue with the issue of losing animals in the masses, there are also weird smells to be handled. Yep, that's right, weird smells. Many people in different cities have been experiencing phantom smells. Usually, when one experiences a phantom smell, it means that there could be something neurological going on in the brain. Some people experience phantom smells before they get a migraine. Phantom smells could even be a sign of a stroke or seizure. So, when it happens to one person, it's likely explainable. But what <laughs> phantom smells, it sounds like a name. 
Phantom smells. What happens when it's an entire city experiencing a phantom smell? In October 2018, yeah, that's weird. the Great Stink of London Part 2 occurred when millions of residents smelled a foul odor near Wapping and surrounding area. It smelled like chemicals such as chlorine and battery acid. Dr. Thomas Smith had a laser egg on the roof that was tracking the air quality. It started going off as unhealthy when the stink was going on. He thought that the stench might have been coming from Europe, from some sort of industrial site. But the origin of the smell continues to remain a mystery. A similar incident happened in Salt Lake City, Utah, except their stink was more like sewage. Plus, the issue is more ongoing. For our next point of interest, let's look at this ocean. Or should we say, oceans. What's going on here? It looks like two oceans are meeting, but can't combine. To those with an untrained eye, it definitely looks like something from a science fiction film. How often do we get to see something that dramatic? This mm. photo in particular has been made. Well, what are these little sparkly things flying around? Is it like dust particles? Like, what are you doing? The rounds on the internet for a few <laughs> years under different titles. This photo is certainly mysterious, and internet detectives. This, this is pretty amazing, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They've been trying their best to solve the query. The photo has been known as where the Baltic and North Sea meet, along with other names. But the photo was actually taken in the Gulf of Alaska in 2007 by a man named Kent Smith while he was on a cruise with oceanographers studying what role iron plays in the Gulf of Alaska. It first appeared on the web in 2010. Before we start freaking out about biblical changes to the ocean, this one can thankfully be explained. The effect is caused by slow-moving currents known as eddies. These eddies are known to carry a lot of glacial sediment. Oh my god, that's tripping me a out. Dramatic <laughs> color difference. So, it seems our oceans are not splitting down the middle yet. And we can rest easy. For now. If earthquakes make you nervous, then resting easy is far from your mind. Rumor has it that the big one could hit California at any time. If you want to look at it another way, earthquakes can be a good thing because they relieve pressure in tectonic plates. But there is still such a thing as abnormal earthquakes, and that makes us all take a pause. On November 11, 2018, a strange rumble went around the world. It started at the island of Mayotte, which is a French Look at that, island. Wait, guys. These are the fault lines, right? Have a look at that. World. That's that's called the Ring of Fire, the Ring of Fire around the Pacific Ocean. Okay, you've got that side, you've got the um, west side of America, down South America, down to Antarctica, around, right through. It started at the island of Literally America. right through New Zealand. New Zealand has a fault line right through it. And that's where I'm from. Christchurch, New Zealand, uh, about halfway down, down the country of New Zealand is where I'm from, where I was brought up. And um, yeah. We've definitely had our, our troubles with, with earthquakes, but they always said that it was going to be in Wellington, which is further up from Christchurch. But, I mean, when you've got a fault line that goes literally through the entire country, I mean, anything can happen, right? Mayotte, which is a French island sandwiched between Africa and the northern tip of Madagascar. The ripple seemed to happen about 15 minutes offshore from the island. The waves kept passing through Africa and made their way around the world to places like China and Canada. The waves lasted for about 20 minutes. Seismic readings showed that the rumble traveled at least 11,000 miles. But the craziest part about it is that no human could feel them. Those who follow earthquakes and seismic waves around the world saw the abnormal reading and wondered if there was a volcanic eruption or some sort of meteorite strike. Today, it still remains a mystery. When we're not being plagued by weird smells and earthquakes, we still have the concern with odd sounds. Sound is carried through by waves and air. Our ears pick up the sound vibrations, causing us to hear them. With this in mind, it means that the sounds have to have some... Isn't sound. that out of it, man? Isn't that freaking out of it? Any sound that I'm hearing, I'm hearing someone bloody renovate the, the pool outside at the moment. I mean, that sound is literally just vibrations in the air coming from them to me. I just... <laughs> Physics. Science, bitch. Origin. Unless you're trying to track sounds from outer space, where an origin is hard to trace. So, not being able to find- The human body is one amazing, amazing thing. And we are all so blessed to have one.
find the source on Earth is kind of disturbing. Back in 1991, NOAA picked up a rather unusual sound in the ocean that has since been called the upsweep. This sound is composed of a long train of noises that sound similar to a howl. It was first picked up by NOAA's autonomous hydrophone arrays. Many scientists have theorized that perhaps it is the result of an undersea volcano, but there isn't enough evidence to confirm this. The sound varies from year to year, and it seems to peak between autumn and spring, again with no explanation. There are also weird sounds happening in the sky known as sky quakes. They are sometimes heard near water. While some can be explained by military planes, others cannot. Skyquakes have been heard Skyquakes? I have never heard of a skyquake, have you? Early as 1824. Another mysterious thing that has been happening is balls of lightning. We're not talking about those gentle looking will-o'-the-wisps that you might see in the forest occasionally. I want to see this. We're talking about an illuminated ball with lightning coming out of it. Sure, it sounds like something from anime or some sort of adventure movie, but this is the real it's deal. It's spirit bomb. This phenomenon has been spotted all over the world and it has even been known to travel through buildings. Once the ball passes, it leaves a smell of sulfur in its wake. This sounds like something we need to call on the Winchester brothers for. These balls of lightning usually last between one second to a full minute. It's Wait. hard to gauge exactly what causes this phenomenon. You gonna show me one? Scientists have taken an interest and they're trying to figure out what it is. What's creepy about the phenomenon is that it seems to move with intent, like there's some consciousness controlling it. One sighting dates back to 1984, when one of these balls entered a Russian plane. It flew over the passengers' heads and left two holes when it disappeared. Clouds are something that we see every day, so what's so weird about them? For cloud watchers, seeing all sorts of different clouds is just part of the territory. Some clouds can also give warning to dangerous weather, like tornadoes. Chances are that if you've seen a morning glory cloud, you might think that it's masking some sort of UFO activity. This cloud formation is a rare event, and scientists don't know what to make of it. While we have figured out what makes other clouds tick, it's hard to figure out what makes the morning glory cloud look the way it does. That's insane. We know it's an <laughs> Why do they call it morning glory? There's two things I need to research, okay? Why is a morning glory cloud called that? The morning glory cloud is a rare meteor meteorological meteorological phenomenon consisting of a low level atmospheric solid. Why is it called the morning glory cloud? Is it because it looks like a penis? Tell me. It's a roll cloud or arcus cloud that can be up to 1000 kilometers long, two kilometers high, and often only 100 to 200 meters above the ground. That would be far out, that would be pretty amazing. Often travels at the rate of 10 to 20 meters per second. The southern part of the Gulf of Carpentaria in Northern Australia, which is where I'm from, is the only known location where it can be, be predicted and observed on a more or less regular basis due to the configuration of land and sea in that area. Still doesn't tell me why it's called a morning glory cloud. Local Aboriginal people call it the Kangoli. Kangogli. Kangoli. Kang Kangoli. 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 The Kangoli. Um, morning glory cloud meaning. So Burke Town is the one place in the world that it's it's uh, actually predicted to happen. Morning glory clouds are some of, the, some of the most magnificent clouds globally and Australians, or in fact Queenslanders, are the lucky ones. And I'm living in Queensland now. Southern parts of the Gulf of Carpentaria, including the open waters, Mornington Island, Burke Town, Normanton, and areas in between, is the only known location on the entire planet where these types of clouds can be forecast with some form of accuracy and observed on a somewhat regular basis. Still not telling me Still not telling me. Obviously they're in the morning. They must be in the morning. Now, what was the other thing I needed to, to research? I needed to see what these light balls were called. Like there's some consciousness to, to trap ball with skyquakes have been hurt lightning. We're not talking also balls of lightning. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch a ball of lightning on camera. Oh my gosh, really? Let me see this. Ball of lightning. Ball of lightning, 126. This one looks pretty good.
Oh my god, you'd be freaking the hell out, wouldn't you? Should I let him warn you? Storm. Hey, I lost him. I lost him. Did he get away? No, no. Far out, man. That's intense. That's intense, but we got to see another one. Ultra rare ball, ball lightning. Let's have a look at this. Ah, oh, terrible like to dislike ratio, but we'll still see it. I thought I thought it was I thought it was there, but that's a uh, street light. Come on, man! What's going to happen? There's about a lightning strike. Ooh, there's a lightning strike like every two, three seconds. You can hear them. They're getting closer and closer and closer. In less than an hour, there's a huge red spot. Oh crap! The heck is that? It's a lightning ball. Uh-oh, I wonder if it hit something. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on the... Ooh, I saw that one. I'm gonna keep an eye on the forecast, and when this thing comes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide in the hotel. This is too dangerous to be out outside. Come on, bruh. Rare ball lightning video in Sioux, Sioux Falls? Sioux Falls, let's go. 37 seconds appears to be a wow. ball of lightning. All right, here we go. 10 seconds, five, four, Three, two, one. Ah. Wow. What was that? Wow. <laughs> what on earth was that? Oh, that gives me shivers, man. was intense. One more guys, one more. One more. Oh, that'll be a good video. Five strange phenomena in the sky caught on camera. I might have to watch that next. You know what? I will watch that next, but let's continue. Sort of UFO activity. I've uh, seen that one. Appears to this cloud's presence for a few months out of the year, and it has to be after dawn. However, you can only see it in Burktown in Queensland, which is fairly remote. Speaking of remote, in a small village in Poland, there are trees that are growing in the most unnatural ways. Near the village of Gryfino, there is a grove of pine trees that don't look like a traditional tree. That's weird. They basically look like warped versions of themselves, almost like a Van Gogh painting. The area has been named the Crooked Forest. Each tree looks like it was bent at the base to make a C shape. It's hard to tell what caused this. Being able to manipulate the growth of trees isn't uncommon in more metropolitan areas, where the look is more aesthetic. What makes the case even more bizarre is that the crooked forest is surrounded by straight trees. That is really strange. How does that happen? Is it because they were buried further up when they first started growing? Because once the curve happens, it seems like they've gone straight up. Like what, what on earth? Explain it. So why this particular spot? It's believed that these trees were planted in the 1930s, and that they were anywhere between 7 to 10 years old when the 90 degree curve started forming. There are a few theories to try to explain this phenomenon. Some believe they were formed from heavy snow in the area, while others think it's from Earth's gravitational pull. It's hard to pinpoint exactly, which is why the mystery continues. 
Finally, we need to look to the sky again for this strange mystery that continues to make an appearance in a remote area of Norway. The Hestalen lights can be seen on a 7.5 mile stretch of the Hestalen Valley. The crazy thing about them is that they can appear both day and night. They seem to hover over the valley as if they are waiting for something or someone. These lights can form in different shapes, including helices. If you ever have a chance to see these lights in person, you might notice that they mainly take the form of balls, and then they look like they are spitting out smaller balls. These can't be explained by headlights of a plane or cars. Scientists have a theory that it could be a phenomenon called Coulomb crystals. These are crystals formed in plasma. The process of creating them is a bit unsettling, as they think it's coming from the radiation on the rocks and then floating up into the atmosphere. This is the radiation that can cause health problems like cancer. So maybe you shouldn't check these lights out after all. What do you think of these 10 mysterious things happening in the world? Well, I think they're pretty damn mysterious, but the one that I really want to see is, uh, is this video right here. Five strange phenomenon caught in the sky, sorry, five strange phenomena in the sky caught on camera. We're about to watch that next. If you have enjoyed this one, if you want to see more videos along these lines of things, let me know in the comment section below. I know normally we're sports related, but today, you know, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling curious. I'm feeling like I want to bust some mysteries, bust some myths. And uh, that's what we're all about today. So by all means, stay tuned, like the video if you've liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.